Hi, this is Chris Newmarker. I'm executive editor of Mass Device, the online news journal of the medical device industry. It's uh, Thursday, March 4th, 2021. We're going to run down the new markers, newsmakers, the top five uh, news stories on Mass Device this week. Number five, we've got uh, the story originally ran on medical design and outsourcing, and it's an uh, in-depth interview with uh, Medtronic CEO Jeff Martha about the ongoing uh, corporate restructuring going on in the world's uh, largest medical device company. This is like a major uh, news story in the space. And uh, I don't want to like tell you too much about the insights that uh, Martha shared with my uh, colleague Tom Salemi. But uh, let's just say he like kind of said this was like going from mainframe to uh, PC. They still got uh, to rewrite the uh, software with uh, with what they're doing here. So I encourage you to read the article. Um, we have also have an accompanying article that were like five reasons why you know Martha's uh, you know really optimistic about the future as uh, as Medtronic uh, you know emerges uh, you know from uh, from the COVID nineteen pandemic. Uh, number four on the list. We have, uh, you know, Hillrom's trying to get out of its uh, uh, $375 million acquisition of uh, Bar Barty Diagnostics. Uh, Barty DX uh, makes the Carnation Ambulatory Monitor or CAM patch. And this is one of these like really interesting, uh, you know, remote wearable, uh, you know, external EKG monitoring uh, patches that, uh, that, you know, hold, you know, promise, you know, like versus the traditional holder monitors that uh, the health providers have used to, uh, you know, try to detect uh, heart arrhythmias. But, you know, there was a setback in the space uh, more than a month ago when uh, the regional Medicare administrative contractor, no contractor Novitas Solutions uh, published, uh, you know, significant uh, rate cuts for external EKG monitoring. And Hillrom's using, using that as a reason to try to uh, pull out of the deal. Barry DX is uh, suing uh, Hillrom in Delaware, asking the court to order the merger to proceed. Uh, you know, they're just saying this, uh, that, you know, Hillrom is using the, uh, the Novitas, uh, you know, decision as a, as a pretense. So, you know, it's worth noting that we've had, uh, you know, some other major acquisitions in this space actually close in, in recent weeks, uh, including, uh, you know, Boston Scientific uh, earlier this week uh, completed its, uh, its acquisition of Provenus. Number three on the list originally ran on our uh, on another sister site, uh, Drug Discovery and Development, and uh, you know this is kind of just asking whether there's a link between Bell's palsy and uh, COVID nineteen uh, vaccines. Uh, you know, it's worth noting that there have just been like a few cases out of like tens of thousands of uh, volunteers in a phase three trials, but you know there was just enough of an imbalance between those who got vaccines and the, those that got uh, placebos that uh, FDA and a uh, CDC are, uh, are monitoring the situation. For those who don't know who Bell's palsy, is, what Bell's palsy is, this is like a asymmetrical uh, weakness or paralysis of the face, and it's it's often temporary. But uh, you know, still definitely uh, you know something to, to to keep an eye on. You know, as we uh, you know hopefully roll out these vaccines and uh, and uh, get out of this pandemic. Number two on the list, we've got Boston Scientific acquiring uh, Luminous, the Luminous Surgical Business for nearly one point one billion dollars. Just another. We're just we're just starting to see like a slew of M and A deals as we uh, as we you know try to work our way out of this pandemic. Uh, you know, Israel-based Luminous has a surgical portfolio that includes uh, laser systems, fibers, and accessories for urology and other procedures. They've got their propri pro proprietary Moses technology for uh, managing patients with uh, kidney stones. So just now another another major uh, M and A deal this time uh, being done by Boston Scientific. And number one on the list, uh, we've got uh, FDA approving the uh, the first robot assisted system for a transvaginal hysterectomy. This is a uh, Memic uh, Innovative Surgery's Hominis system. Um, FDA noted that you know this uh, transvaginal approach uh, requires fewer incisions on the abdomen compared to uh, the traditional laparoscopic hysterectomy. So you know just uh, just another like really uh, interesting uh, deal in this space. So you know those are our uh, top uh, five stories of the week. If you want to hear me discuss them more, um, you know check out our, uh, our our newest Device Talk Weekly uh, podcast that will be uh, posting in coming days. Uh, it's also worth noting we're uh, on social media on Mass Devices on LinkedIn, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. So subscribe, like, follow, and you know for all things medical devices go to massdevice.com. Thanks a lot. See you next week.